Greetings and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Okami. Alright, so we've had a minor crash. Should be fine now. I had to retrace my steps a bit. Uh, did finish doing the gate over there. Just a couple of those fish vibes. Not really important. Let's talk to this guy like, over here. What are you doing? I am no, we can't help him yet. Did he miss anything, I think? Alright, let's keep exploring Takapas. You horsey. What about this fella? You mean sparrows in, as an actual bird? Humans called sparrow? Or actual anthropomorphic sparrows? Uh -huh. oh, why would she go there? Well, you're not gonna find it though. Let's see if we can get more than one tree in one go. Yay, all three in once. And that's all the trees in this valley, I think. I see anything hidden over here. the old lady down there. I'm not going anywhere down there. Let's just uh, let's visit the uh, mermaid pool again. Someone there that I didn't talk to yet, I think. Because <sighs> this has been the third time I tried to record this. We're having some major technical difficulties. Well, maybe, but springs from the bottom of the ocean into a freshwater spring doesn't doesn't seem to connect quite right. Mm -hmm. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, we don't currently have a mermaid coin and I can't purchase one, so I have to 
pick up the feed you again. Yeah, have some food. And as long as we're out here, it's, uh, I could pull myself up there. But there's no point right now. Because I don't have the Celestial Brush technique just yet. Instead, let's go visit Sasa Sanctuary. I think I know how this gate works. You just go right through it. And it is quite a neat effect. Also, it makes it seem like Sasa Sanctuary is a little bit more than just a regular place. But a bit more magical. Bamboo Village Sasa Sanctuary. I really don't. I have no idea what bamboo smells like. Mm. Yep, anthropomorphic sparrows. Scruffy? What, are you gonna call me a nerf herder too? Hey, what, what other look would you want? I do now. Why not? That's a big bird. Big dirty jumba. Bet he goes jilt. Yep. This is the city checkpoint. Comes right out here. Well, at least this place is not cursed, which is already a step up from the usual places we visit. Very imaginative. What about you? Yes, I do. Oh, sure, that's gossip. 
No, not really. Then again, that guy over at Taka Pass that was uh, waiting for the pinwheel. He did look kind of sickly. I suppose he's from Cyan City as well. Well, let's have a nice explore around here then. Well, uh, emergency? Yeah, that's it. That's for some shock. Get rid of some more treasure. Let's see. Some more meat bags. No, that's all. And it's night time. Well, at least this will make digging for treasure a little easier. Let's see, is there any treasure I missed back here? Nope, doesn't look like it. Let's have a talk with these guys over here. Big boy like you? Oh, what rumor is that? Hey, you have more to say? Have I heard that rumor? Yeah, a million times. A million times. Uh, what about you, Archerman? Well, your ego is quite the right size, is it? Greatest Archer Yoichi. Oh, Yoichi, I don't know. Golden Fire. Nice. Bullseye. Oh, 
Yeah, for some reason this guy always has apples with him. I'm not entirely sure why. Probably not. The city is quite distance away. That's why you should have someone opposite opposite you. I uh, will leave you for now. Let's go explore down here. The mother tree. In Kamiki village, there grows a magnificent tree called Konohana. Konohana has split its roots to form many trees throughout Nippon. In order to better protect and preserve the glory of nature, differing accounts shed little light on the tree's true origin. Some say the tree was born when it sprouted from a dead god. Others speculate it was transplanted from a faraway land. No story yet concocted can be considered a true version. However, the sensation I get as I draw Konohana is unmistakable. This is a plant that cannot be tamed by a mere brush. The miracle of its existence is more than can be sketched. One wonders what secrets lie behind its broad leaves. Yeah, what secrets indeed. They did kind of fall off that uh, ramp. I'm sure we get back up there at some point. Let's enjoy the night and collect as much treasure as we can find with the aid of the dark. As long as I've got the bell, those scrolls will not fall to the track. Let's feed these pigs while they're asleep. Feed! Eat! Push it under the throat. Clover. Oops. Oh, here's something. Oh, and these are raccoons, I think. Yep. And finding animals is usually a little bit easier during the day because they move about. Then exorcism step, right? And there's little we can actually do at this uh, at the checkpoint yet because well, I'm missing certain techniques. And because the story says I should really pay more attention to what's behind this, but might as well pick up what we can find. So we don't have to look for it later. But it's quite obvious that we some at some point need to find a way there. Anyway, let's get back to Taka Pass. Daytime, right? It's even better.
And that's it for this episode. Thank you all for watching. See you all next time.